next is the open harmonic series. So we're going to start with the one, two, and three valve combination as written on the instruction sheet. Let's get going and be very mindful of feeling good upbeats. Mm -hmm. It's the notes on the upbeats that tend to be the ones that get stuck. And be very consistent with your smooth air, constant speed from beginning to end. Let's go. One and two and three and four and a... Well done. Thank you. Rachel. Let's go a little bit over the options. We've got option one. Would you mind demonstrating option one, please? On which finger? One, two, and three. Be very mindful of the upbeat so that they all click into place. One and two and three and four and a Very nice. And let's see what option two would sound like. Again, one, two, and three. for you. You've clearly done a lot of work on these harmonic series. Very good job. Did we ever talk about whistling as a way of practicing the yeah, harmonic yeah. series? Let's talk a little bit more about that. Would you please whistle one of these for us? Pick ever one, whatever works. about what you're noticing as you transverse high and low? Well, I noticed that my lips right inside the mouthpiece roll in even when I'm whistling. Mm -hmm. And they roll out again when I come down. Mm -hmm. And I also noticed that my tongue is very forward. Mm -hmm. and the back of my tongue is doing some things. I don't know what exactly, but the tip of my tongue is always 
up near the front. Yes, well, we'd like to hear that. Um, you're not asking your lips to do this. This is just what happens naturally when you move from high to low. Now try that on the horn and tell me if there's a similarity in how you approach moving through the instrument with your lips as when you whistle. What do you notice? Feels very similar. Is that the coolest thing? Yeah. I remember Carmine telling me to practice whistling when I would learn the harmonic series. So often when students come to me and they want to learn more about the upper register, Whistling is part of how we work on it, just because it, when you whistle, your lips naturally do what they need to do without a lot of analysis. I'd rather you not think about it. I'd rather you do the whistle and then go right to the horn if it's a struggle for you. Any questions about that? It sounds good to me, Julie. Thank you. <laughs>